most. Madam, there is only one person in Dubai I know who is doing successful CIF. Okay. His name is Mr. Benny. Okay. His family owned the mine. Oh, yeah. And then? <laughs> Every week they send her consignment 10 or 20 kilos. Uh huh. He goes there, he deposits his emirates, and now he, he gets his cash. Oh, that's good. Good is cash, really. It's not really for a CIF. A buyer asking CIF, I think most of the buyer and broker, chain of broker, they are excited. They want to buy gold CIF, cost insurance and freight only. How about paying the gold? Remember this afternoon, we were talking about the, the export documentation that the buyer needs. Remember? Did you recall that? Yes. Okay. Without the ownership in the name of the buyer, the gold will not arrive. Or without the <clears throat> custom clearance and airy bill, the gold will not arrive. Mm. So, just I talked to a doctor uh, who handles precious metal in Dubai. Okay. At the moment, you're li I'm live at the moment with you. Okay, go ahead. Yes. So, I talked to the custom officer who handles precious metal in Dubai. Yeah. And he said, listen, my brother, it's very easy. We just need to know when the gold leaves the country, it's been paid, tax. Uh, it is, uh, you have the invoice and you have the ownership. That's all they want. That's right. Yeah, but if you did, if you have not paid the gold, so how could the gold can give, can, uh, how could the seller give you the ownership if you have not paid? Hmm. Can you get the logic? Can you get the logic side there? Exactly. You will only get the ownership when you pay the gold. Of course. But if you have not paid the gold, so how how are you able to what, get what, the ownership? What if the seller mandate what seller mandate is in Dubai to receive? Well the, the seller's mandate is always to only to receive just just an example on that um, I watched the video on on Nairobi, right? And I've given you a copy of the video on YouTube. Okay? That uh, royal family representative, the royal family give the money to his representative. And that representative he was dealing with a facilitator in Kenya. Yeah, I was watching the video, three videos about um, this Kenyan gold that the uh, royal family has been is come. It's really very clear. The royal family's representative is careless. It's really very careless. Mm. Good evening, Nija Ni Nikajak. So that buyer, the, the royal family trusted because the royal family would not really travel. So he appointed the representative, right? And he was being paid by the royal family. And that representative was dealing with a politician. And that guy that he has, uh, he's facilitating. So their third party dealing with that gold in, from Congo. Right? Can you see the metal box? It's a black box. And there is no gold. There was no gold. It's already all rocks. Did you watch the video? Oh, you you were being cut off. Just, just a moment. I'll call you back. You were being cut off. Yeah, just bear with me. Are you there? Okay, you have been cut off. Did you did you view the 
the, the video on YouTube said, I was watching that video. This video is a really good moral lesson, right? Can you hear me? Yes. So the, did you watch that video that I've given you so that you will be aware? I watched the video number three. Okay. There was a conversation live between the representative and and the politician there. Did you hear that uh, conversation? I... Yeah, I was watching that. I was listening properly. There was a connivance between the the agent in Nairobi because the gold is coming from Congo. It it, it would be smuggled. Then... So can you see the metal box? The metal box, I'm getting suspicious on that metal box. It's not even wrapped. The representative should open the metal box to re-inspect before the metal box would be closed. Mm. That metal box is easy to open because it's not sealed. What happened inside the metal box? It's a rock. Mm. Can you see that? All the spare parts from the, the spare parts and rocks. Mm. Of course, the real family will get angry. Of course. Mm. It's pretty apart from the mine. And when I look at it, that that uh, black metal box, very heavy, and the metal box is not even sealed. Yeah. It should be sealed that the fragile or valued goods. The buyer should buy a seal that uh, it says valued goods. When you put the gold on the metal box and you're gonna be you're gonna be there, put the seal. The wrap at called valued goods, so there would be no tampering then, because if the metal box would be tampered, meaning to say something wrong, yeah. The the representative is very careless, yeah. So what do you think of that? What did you learn out of that video in that royal family? Yeah. So most of the broker, they don't, they don't know. They don't only think about their commission, commission, commission. You will never get the commission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a chain of broker joker this morning. Yeah. And he sent me the SPA from other seller. And I told this uh, this broker, this seller, this seller is not a seller. He's an he's an agent. Because I know my seller, and he's using my seller's comp company letterhead on Mali. And when I look at the key member, that name Joma Omar is not even on my seller's key management. Hmm. Oh, you have been cut off again. Your network is very bad in Dubai. Norris, good evening. We don't sell 99.99. You can buy that in in your end, Norris. Okay? You are buying unrefined. Okay? We don't sell refined. Which is which is uh, 99.99 okay our gold okay our gold is unrefined you can refine you can refine it into different uses Okay, so thank you for your question, Naris. Okay. <clears throat> so 
So you can buy gold to the importer na raise ore. You can buy gold to uh, to the refinery that already refined. Okay? You buy unrefined which is produced by the miner which I'm the extension who handles sales and marketing for the seller. There is you've been watching me for since last year until now you still understand read it the full corporate offer is always on every video you read it digest it properly the price of gold today is sixty three thousand dollars i'm going to go on the world market okay just a moment the gold price today okay the price of gold today is 63 so the price is fluctuate just like a, a cradle swinging yeah so few days ago the gold was 61 now it's 63 so if you are really a buyer nourish when the price of gold is down buy now but you've been floating around you've been window shopping i cannot help you You've been talking to Wilhelmina since last year. Yeah. I cannot help you. You should watch the video. You, you've, been, you've been watching me. And did you read the full corporate offer, Nariz? So I think I answer your question, Nariz. Mm. How much 99.99 gold price? You can buy that to the refinery. It's already refined. 24 carats. You are buying 22 carats, 22.54 naris equals 23. So it's up to you to refine it. Either you're gonna make it into jewelry. The the jewelry manufacturer knows how to refine into 99. They are gonna put something to make it harder. The 24 carats naris is very soft. Yeah, even though you buy gold volume 99.99. They're going to put lead to become stronger. Even 91%, they're going to make into 99.99. So don't confuse yourself. Without Dory Bar, there would be no 99.99 Naris. So I'm answering your question because you asked me how much 99.9 gold price that or I that uh, per kilo, if obi. So you can buy that to a refinery less 2%. We are giving you eight percent now naris while you are here with me <clears throat> on sixty three thousand we give you eight percent okay minus sixty three thousand our sebi our selling price is fifty seven thousand nine hundred sixty yeah you yeah, i don't know if you can afford our minimum order is um, 10 kilos most of you guys looking for cheap price there's no way you can get the cheap price yeah the real seller would not sell his gold cheap because the real seller knows the price of gold on the world market. He wouldn't sell his gold very cheap. Look at this um, this real family. He was being offered very cheap. And then he has a representative. What happened? He was being duped. Hmm. That is why I always advise everyone, you travel. Don't rely on brokers. Mr. Buyer, if you're watching me, you travel, you watch, and bring the sticker called Fragile. Or uh, there's a sticker like, um, okay, what's it called? That, um, you can buy that uh, roll of sticker. It's called that um, Valued Goods or Fragile. When you ask the gold, put the gold into the metal box, then you wrap it. That it says Fragile or Valued Goods. Hmm. So, uh, just a moment. Okay. So, if you want to to buy gold, you must be vigilant. I am not here to, to babysit you guys. I am the extension of the seller. I am the extension. I market gold and diamond 
outside Africa. I am the extension. So you must remember that when you buy gold, you need to be vigilant. And if you are a buyer and then you rely on buyer's mandate, and your buyer's mandate have a personal interest, immediately he will think how much is my commission. You will never get a commission if both parties doesn't sign a contract. Now this morning and this afternoon, I interviewed a lot of chain of joker broker and their letter of intent to purchase is cut and paste so i rejected them so i welcomed them and i told them okay bring your buyer on group chat so that buyer's agent i know this buyer agent he's been floating around for two years uh -huh. and they were asking is blc now, Mr. Buyer, if you're watching me, whoever you are or broker, before you handle your own buyer, understand what is the meaning is BLC. You type what is is BLC is all about. Is BLC means a standard letter of credit. Can you understand letter of credit? Meaning to say that buyer he has no cash flow. He has no cash available. So he is going to ask the owner of the gold as a credit. You are buying money. Why are you going to ask for credit? So therefore, you have an issue here. You don't have cash. You are going to launder it. You are going to leverage. That is the reason why the buyer using this chain of broker, that they have a buyer asking for his PLC. Mr. Broker, if, you're, if you've been floating around and you don't know what you're doing, please get out on this business. This is not for you. This is not a job for you. This is not. They come to me. <coughs> they come to Valamina. Four of them were chatting. And they sent me, for, they forwarded me cut and paste letter of intent. I told them, who is the main buyer here? Because I have to interview the buyer. Mm -hmm. So this the broker said, Madam, before we release the buyer, we will sign, let us sign in C in the A and and um, commission agreement. I, I told them, you don't know your buyer is real or not. You have to sign a, an agreement with your buyer that the buyer of yours would not circumvent you, because buyer will circumvent you. I can guarantee you that. I was even circumvent when I was in Ghana. So, Mr. Buyer, you are just abusing, using this chain of joker broker, and this joker broker have no idea what they are doing, and they come to me because I'm the only person who brought this online. This is my extension. I This is my online office. Mm. So, I'm sorry, guys. If you come to Wilhelmina, you already read the full corporate offer on every video. You did. I put everything, Konakri, Bamakumali, Shira Leon. If you don't read that, I'm telling you, you are not really doing your job. I put everything, and my job is not easy because I don't want you to become duped. Now, there was a person. I sent money to Shira Leon. And he and she only pay taxes, and the gold is half a million dollars, and she sent money sixty thousand. Can you imagine that? Mm. And then when there was a problem, they come to me. She was not my buyer. She just asked my help. Yeah, she's not my buyer. Then another Indian. This is a saying. Okay, this buyer. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. This buyer. Okay, now she he has a buyer in Conakry. There are a lot of buyer flew to Conakry, and looking for gold, cheap price. And I told this Mr. Diamond, tell your buyer to walk into the central bank. They can buy two percent. Mm -hmm. And when we give them eight percent, and he said too expensive. Of course you're buying money. Money is expensive. And I told him good luck. Tell your buyer. He's already on Conakry, walk into the central bank. 
The Central Bank and Royal Coulomb Hotel is just across the road, 20 yards. Go and make an appointment to buy gold. Central Bank has no gold. The Central Bank is only going to process the document coming from the owner of the gold. But the owner of the gold will not bring to the Central Bank unless you come to their office. Yeah, and when you look at the gold, you have to make a down payment in the office before the seller will bring the gold to the central bank to assay. And then you're going to say, bring the gold to central bank? No. What happens if you're going to change your mind and the gold cannot be taken away from that building? The central bank is say no. It stay the gold because the central bank is protecting the local seller that most of the buyer are scrupulous. Yes. Mm. And one buyer wanted 31,000 per kilo. There is no 31,000 per kilo in Conakry. Yeah, $31,000 per kilo is only 10 carats. Yeah. I'm going to put all the prices of gold. That's only 10 carats. But you're buying 22.54, which is 23. There's a big difference. Yeah. And you're asking CIF, oh, you would not get gold, CIF. No way. Hmm. I was watching the YouTube this afternoon because the royal family was been scam last year, big time. Okay? And I was been watching the video, the conversation. Believe me, Mr. Broker, if you are not paying attention, this is not for you. This is not for you. Gold is a very tricky and dangerous. You're just floating around that you have a buyer and you don't know your buyer whether the buyer is real, right? And then you come to Alamina and you don't read the full corporate offer is really, really very clear and concise. Asking for CIF, you will never, never get gold CIF. Never. Okay? And then you ask the seller to pay all the taxes and the shipping cost, no way. When you buy gold, you will be given a commercial invoice. Then the certificate of ownership. The certificate of origin, where the gold coming from. Then the export license number would be on the certificate of ownership. You need to assay the gold. Whether you buy gold in Conakry, whether you buy gold in Bamako Mali, Ghana, or Sierra Leone, you need to do the assay so that you will see the assay report that gold is 22 or 23, something like that. The purity from 95, 96, 97. Right. And you need to get an area bill if the gold will be shipped it to your destination. And if you hand carry, you don't need an area bill. <clears throat> The most important is the declaration from custom. And you need to insure the gold, insurance certificate, and you need to pay the shipping cost. You don't need to let the bar seller to pay the shipping cost. You have to pay the product, and then you pay the shipping cost and insurance. In our position, I myself asked my seller, let us waive the tax. Let us waive the shipping cost. But you need to pay the insurance, the buyer, and you need to pay $100 per kilo when you assay the gold. Central bank, you pay $100 per kilo because you are using the facility of the central bank. Then if you're going to buy gold to Bamako Mali, yes, you go to DNGM refinery, you pay $100 per kilo on whatever you order. In Sierra Leone, yes. You pay the $100 to DGGO. Right. There, there is no free. So if you're going to buy gold in Ghana, there are 14 refineries in Ghana. You need to pay $100 per kilo to that refinery. There are 14 refineries in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the money, and then asking CIF, and then you're sitting down in your ass, believe me, you will never, never get the gold. And please, do not send money to Africa unless you see the products. Please. You're buying half a million dollars here. Don't. 
I discourage you to send. If the seller say, okay, uh, you pay taxes, send the money to pay taxes. No, don't. You have a limited cost. The gold will not come to you and your money would not be refunded. Please don't. I'm telling you. Even in Ghana, you're going you're gonna to meet the seller. Okay, this is my price. Because there was a buyer that he was supposed to send money to Ghana. I said, no, don't. Don't, don't, don't. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I was in Ghana. Please, please, you will never receive gold. I save him. If you are a buyer today, you need to have at least half a million dollars in your bank account. At least. If you don't have half a million dollars, please don't be involved in this business. Don't. I know this gold business is very lucrative business, but you need to have a capital before you get the profit. But if you're asking, is BLC, don't you know, I have a friend in Dubai. I rejected the buyer because we don't deal is BLC or CIF on the first transaction. Until now, three months already, the process of the SBLC is still on the process and the bank is start to suspicious to the buyer. Any mistake of your application, okay, any mistake, the, ba the bank will start to so so suspicious on you. Mm -hmm. So what happened? This, uh, this um, buyer's agent asked me, Madam, what do you think? I said, I told you that before. There is no way you can get gold CIF on the first trial. Maybe on the third uh, shipment because we don't know you and you don't know us so you need to come to try to inspect and meet the seller i know you were being duped before you have a bad experience why you were not being guided you know my job is not easy i guided you because this is my online office mm -hmm. everybody come to me madam i have a buyer one CIF, Madame uh, Brinks, Madame J4S. Okay, you have an account on Brinks. It is your responsibility to coordinate with Brinks. You have to ask it first the gold. You have to pay the gold first. Then when the gold will be fully paid, then that is the time the seller will hand over to Brinks. Yeah, you need to go, you need to come. I'm a woman. I travel to Africa. I'm not scared. Why you guys are scared? Maybe you don't have bulls in your pants. Excuse my language. Yeah, you're a gentleman. You're scared. Why you were scared? Because you were being duped and you were being offered cheap price. Of course. Today the price of gold is 63 and then you were being offered 31, 32. Do you think you're not going to get it? Huh? I will throw back my position right you are the buyer i am the seller do you think i'm going to give my gold without knowing who you are my gosh i wouldn't mm. there's so many buyer has been duped that is not my problem it is your problem right mm -hmm. that is your problem why you have been duped because your eyes is bigger than a dollar yes i was talking to this gentleman in the philippines he was been following me. He's a miner. He is from Cebu, but he has a gold mine in Surigao del Sur. Okay? And I'm from Surigao del Sur. I was born there. And he was been watching my video. You know what he said to me? You've been given a lot of information, madam. And those buyer who watch you are the lucky buyer. And I told him, yes, I feel sorry for those buyer. Because they were being duped. This is my office, I told my kababayan. This is my office. If you watch the video, you're a winner. Naris, you watch the video. You've been watching me for two years, almost two years. Until now, you can still, you can, you have no idea. I want you to go back, Naris. Whenever, in every video, there's a full corporate offer. Please read it. We are selling unrefined not refined refined means 99.99 .99. gold as many uses there is either you buy to make into jewelry either you're gonna make into 
false state or spare parts. I always mention that. Yeah, but please, you are just, excuse my language if I see this, you're dumb dumb. If you don't pay attention and you're excited because you saw this beautiful lady, watch this video first and then click the link Konakrigini by Makomali Shira Leon. Read it first. Digest it. My full corporate offer is very, very extensive. I expand it just like elementary. But you guys, I don't know if you went to school. I don't have any idea whether you finished your high school or not because you don't read. My seller did not provide me this information. I'm the one who gather all the information of my seller. Mm -hmm. And I'm the one who do the research so that I could feed you guys in order for you not to be duped again. Yes, you will be duped, I can guarantee you. You will be duped. Mm. If you're not paying attention, you're only thinking about the cheap price. That another Indian, they call me. And he said that um, he is an exporter and importer. He's asking 50% discount. And I told him, you're a crook. Yeah, you're a crook. Mm. Okay, his name is um, Kumindran Kubin, Kubin Duran from India. He said, Madam, I'm the importer and exporter. So I responded his uh, his uh, chat on WhatsApp, and I called him live. I told him open your camera, so he did, and I told him what can I do for you, madam? I'm an exporter and importer. I need gold. I said okay. How how did you find me? And he said I found you on Facebook. I said did you read? Did you listen to the video? And he said no, I didn't. I just got your number. I said go back and read. While I'm talking to him. He said he has a buyer. Can you imagine that? And he's asking 50% discount. And I told him, you're a crook. To mine, it's not cheap. The seller is paying his worker. The, the miner digging gold, you know, and he has worker to feed. And he's going, he's going to pay taxes to his government. Valued added tax, he's going to remit that. And he's going to remit the royalty to the country of origin and you guys asking cheap price my goodness you're a crook mm. i told him you're a bloody crook mm. that is the reason why i'm very blunt because i want you to be reformed because your eyes is bigger than a dollar does any broker explain to you like this none most of the buyer's agent they hide the picture yeah they don't want to open their camera they're scared if you're a buyer's agent, you have to know your buyer. Because if you come to Alamina, I'm very, very strict. I'm very blunt because I want to help the buyer. You broker, you're just helping yourself. You're not helping the buyer. You will never get the commission if you're not helping your buyer. I am here helping both buyers and seller. Why I'm helping? I want to know the buyer's background. I want to know before I'm going to release the information of my seller. Because when when I receive your letter of intent to purchase coming from you, and immediately I will call you. I, Mr. Bayo, I received your letter of intent. I'm sorry. We don't deal CIF. This is FOB. You, Mr. Bayo, before you come to Alamina, read it first. Because it says here, FOB, bank to bank. Now, you my adjust my uh, my advice to you mr broker i know you want to earn a dollar because this business is very lucrative business but you must know your buyer because if you come to wilhelmina so you're gonna wilhelmina i have a buyer okay how long your buyer been searching for gold this is my question oh six months i start to wonder the real buyer would not roam around for six months the real buyer would not roam around for two years. He will read and digest it. Then he will send a formal letter of intent. Now, may I educate again? The letter of intent means LOI. You're going to introduce yourself. You are sending LOI intent to buy. Intention to buy. Okay? Then you're going to state 
the carrot you are intending to buy, the purity you are intending to buy. The origin must be in West Africa because Africa 98% gold coming from Africa. Then 50% of diamond coming from Africa. Right. So then the mode of payment, if you're going to say CIF, immediately I will reject you. Because on every page, Konakri, Sierra Leone, Bamako, Mali, it says FOB. Now, Mr. Buyer, there is a secret to get this gold. Mm -hmm. I know you're hungry. Hungry of this supply. Start a trial. You start 10 kilos or even 5 kilos. In Bamako, Mali, they will consider 5 kilos. In Konakri, minimum 10 kilos. Right? So, start a trial. I want you to build your business relationship with the seller. I am the extension. I am the key to open the gate for you. But I am very strict. Mm -hmm. The way I educate you, I'm very blunt and I'm very brutal because I don't want you to be scum because you have been scum before. I was even scum before. So I learned from many mistakes. So now I decided to open my online office to explain it to you and to show my face. Mm -hmm. To show my face in order for you to trust Wilhelmina. I am your business facilitator at the same time and the seller's mandate. I don't need any chain of joker broker. I don't need it. Mm -hmm. Why? Mr. Buyer, you want the profit, right? And if you're dealing with the, your buyer's agent, you are obligated to pay your buyer's agent. You are. My seller is paying me. So why should I give this joker broker my time, their time waster? They are. So Mr. Buyer, I am telling you the truth. Oh, people doesn't like Wilhelmina is come, is come. My goodness, you don't know the word is come. Yeah, do you find me the word is come? The word is come is your liar. You're asking cheap price just like a few hours ago. I told this buyer from India, he said he's an ex exporter and importer. He's asking 50%. I said, you are crook. Yeah, no way the seller will give you 50%. No, the gold today is $63,000 and then you're asking for 50% discount. My goodness, you're a thief. I told him, you're a thief. You're a crook. Our selling price is premium, Mr. Buyer. It says there, less 8% use your calculator. Use your brain. The price of gold today is 63, less 8%. Mm -hmm. And if, I can, if you convince me, if I can see that you're a real buyer, the most important, Mr. Buyer, when you, when you come to Alamina, I would require you to show me your proof of fund, your bank statement. The value of 10 kilos or the value of 5 kilos. Yeah? Then I will believe you're a buyer. But if you don't show me the proof of your bank statement to me, you're not a buyer. Nah. The real buyer would not stay for two years, six months, roaming around, chasing around. No. The real buyer only will make a decision because he watched this beautiful lady and he re and he read. The full corporate offer, my goodness, the buyer will make a decision instantly. Yes? I have a buyer traveling to Bamako, Mali. I have buyer traveling to, to Konakri, Guinea. I have. With invitation. We don't deal buyer on the ground. Why? There is a reason why we don't deal buyer already on the ground. You were being invited by someone else. And during your meeting, you didn't get along with. Mm -hmm. Because that seller didn't even help you to get the product. That seller that you have met is very rough. yeah. And that seller that you have met, then you travel, he was giving you gross price. But when you arrive, it's no longer gross price. To us, if you come to Alamina, this is the price. There is no surprises. Now, 
because I already explained it. And when I call you on, on WhatsApp, I will record our conversation and I will give you a copy of our conversation so that you will understand what we have discussed mm -hmm. on WhatsApp. Then I will send it to my head office to listen what he think. Then my head office will say, okay, well, Amina, let us proceed. Gather all the buyer's information, your business registration, your importation license, your passport copy, your proof of fund. Then we will send you a letter of acknowledgement that, yes, we will consider your order. Yes, we will send you the landing visa as a company guest. You read all the full corporate offer. You need Wilhelmina, Mr. Bayer. <clears throat> but however, <clears throat> in Australia, we're locked down. Okay? I will monitor your movement. May I repeat again, don't be confused. Our selling price, less 5%. But because I'm going to travel, okay, I will give you 3% in total of 8%. Take advantage because I cannot travel because of the coronavirus here in Australia. We are locked down. There is no international flight at the moment. So you will get the 8% and you are not going to, to be charged of voluminous extra service. I will monitor your movement and I will guide you, okay? Step by step, by long distance, in order for you to get your order. But you need to convince Wilhelmina your business registration, I need to see it. Your importation license, I need to see it. Your refinery account, I need to gather it so that we can put that on the contract. Right. Refinery account, address of the refinery, the contact person, because I'm going to contact the refinery. Long distance, I will spend money in order for me to find out whether you're a real buyer or not. Mm -hmm. So that you would not waste my time. So then when I call your refinery, Mr. Refinery, Mr. So-and-so, do you know this buyer? Uh -huh. And then the refinery say, no, I don't know this buyer. So then you're going to be rejected. We need to be careful because either you lose money and my seller also did lose his gold. My seller lost gold already. Yeah? Recently. Last year and 2020. Because he was being promised to bring the gold to the destinations of the buyer and he was being promised to sign a contract. After the buyer got the gold, he didn't. He ran away. He defaulted the payment. Yeah? So that is the reason why I was not aware until last year the buyer from Paris is not my client. Okay? The son was dealing with the buyer and this uh, seller and he has a buyer, okay? And it was not my buyer. And they went to Istanbul. They bring the gold. After Ase, the refinery paid the buyer. And the buyer cannot be found. He got the money. And the seller telling me, Madam, we were been scam. Why were we been scam? I told you that before, don't believe on buyer. So now, because both buyers and sellers are hungry. Yeah. When the buyer sweet talker and the seller, yeah, okay, we'll do it and sign a contract. No, you would not sign a contract. You come to Wilhelmina, I will educate you. I can guarantee you, I can assure you, you will get the gold. But there is a process. Now, I will show you Mr. Buyer and Mr. Seller. This is the gold, okay? This is the gold. This gold is called from Ghana. Mm -hmm. I'm using this as an example. Whether you buy gold anywhere in Africa, you buy the metal box. You have to have your metal box. Let's say you buy 10 kilos. Okay? You buy a metal box. Mm -hmm. Now, on 10 kilos, of course, you're going to be assy, right? So, can you see this 5 kilos have a signature? So, you're going to be inside the refinery. Then the gold will be wrapped. So the buyer and the seller signed it initial so that when the gold arrived to your destination, exactly the same. So the gold will not be tampered. Okay. 
However, the buyer had no money. I was in Ghana 2013. This is the buyer that he didn't get the gold because I stopped the shipment. Mm -hmm. Because he wanted CIF. Mm. And he wanted the seller to pay everything. I said, no. No, no, no. Because we don't know the buyer. The buyer is a Mexican. Mexico is a notorious. If you arrive in Mexico, you never know. The, the buyer might hire the kidnapper to kidnap. This is a good in Ghana. I stop it. The buyer is Eric Blasco. I always use the example so that you guys have an idea. This is the buyer. They're sophisticated buyers. This is the buyer. Right. It's very sophisticated by they are brokers to the refinery. So that is the reason why buyers are scared of me. Don't be scared because this is for your own benefit. Right. So, okay, this is, um, I'm gonna, okay, just bear with me. I'm gonna show you. I have all the files here. I have to share it with you, Mr. Buyer and Seller. Do not believe on buyers. And also buyers, you are taking advantage, Mr. Buyer. Your eyes is bigger than a dollar. Yeah, you're a crook. You're all crooks, either the seller or the buyer. Mm. Okay. Can you see this Eric Blasco? Can you see the lady with the yellow blouse? We have a meeting on the boardroom. And Eric Blasco says, I can I know your needs and concern. Yeah, his concern is to screw me. His concern doesn't want to talk to me because he wanted the gold to deliver to Mexico. If I wasn't there, the fifty kilos would be on the re on the air. Lucky I was there. I stopped the shipment March 1st, 2013. So I'm giving you the example. It doesn't matter if he is my seller. It doesn't matter. You need to be vigilant. Mm -hmm. That is why I always say, you need to, Wilhelmina, I'm charging my extra service, you must remember. I am not giving you for free. This is free already. I've given you a vital information. This information would million dollars it's free but when i travel on the ground with you yes i do charge my extra service to cover my transport my travel cost very cheap but you're buying half a million dollars here yeah and then your eyes is big in a dollar i want to buy pay taxes no don't send money don't i'm telling you there was a person he sent she sent money to Sierra Leone she didn't get the gold so please don't send any money until you see the gold lucky this uh, this guy this broker he showed me the spa of bamako mali madam do you know this seller i said yeah he's my seller and when i look at uh, juma omar juma omar is not part of the key management of the organization because i have the list of management there are 26 members of this organization and there are 2500 miners who brought their gold into the organization so the organization have 26 members i have the file i have everything <clears throat> when i look at it joma omar muhammad is not on the key management and she he was using the company letterhead so immediately i called my seller do you know this guy my seller said where did you get this well someone sent it to me and when i read the spa i start to wonder <laughs> juma omar muhammad is not a seller he said he is the president no he's using i told this broker he's using the letterhead of the organization and he get the gold from organization because in Bamako Mali is a cartel the 4,500 
local miners, they bring the gold to a cartel because it's controlled by organization. Mm -hmm. So, maybe I told this broker, maybe this Juma Omar, he'd get the gold from the organization as a consignment. Mm -hmm. And he offer a very weird price. Very weird. And I told this broker, you will never get gold. Never. Because the organization would not give his gold credit. Yeah, he wouldn't. Here's the gold. You taste today in GM, you pay for it. Mm. So I, I told the, this uh, broker, thank you for uh, asking my information. Then at least I save you guys. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a gold formula. Mm -hmm. Can you see the gold formula? Mm. After the finding, okay, this is the gold formula. Can you see that? So even... Even 91.91, it's already pure. They will make it into gold bullion. So the refinery would know. So don't be confused. This gold formula, I got this one from the central bank. The central bank in the Philippines. The broker, the buyer's mandate showed it to me. So I studied it. Very simple. It's really very, very simple to comprehend. See, can you see that? The finest and the carrots. 23 carats can be made in, into gold bullion. So don't be confused. Don't be confused. Naris, don't be confused. You're buying gold to refine into different uses. Naris is watching me. So he's asking about how much the price of gold, 1 kg. Well, Naris, you go to um, your uh, country. There is a refinery you can buy you 1 kg. Yeah, at least 2%, whatever the price. But yeah, on us, you travel, yes, you will get the gold. Mm, you can refine it. So I think, Naris, I um, I answer your question. Okay, now the time is 7.32. So I think, Mr. Bayer, this, uh, this video is really for you. Yeah. It's really for you. Not for me. This is my office. I... T I explain it to you again click subscribe on youtube because this video would be on youtube subscribe it click there's a saying show more so you click that you will see the full corporate offer called fco conakry fco bamako mali fco sierra leone manifest on diamond sierra leone manifest on on Conakry, we have gold and diamond. So my question is, how are you able to pay? Mm -hmm. That is my question. If you come to Wilhelmina, so Wilhelmina, I have a buyer. How long your buyer was searching for gold? Mm -hmm. That is my question. You already saw Wilhelmina. So you have to digest it. You have, you have to read it. This full corporate offer is very, very extensive. I expand it. I show you the video on on Bamako Mali, the DNGM. Look, view on the Bamako Mali video. You can see the DNGM refinery. Take time. Don't rush. You, you don't come to me rushing because you are buying half a million dollars here. Take time. Then when you're ready, then you come back. Hmm. If, if you are a broker, read it. Don't rush. Because I wouldn't believe that you have a buyer. I wouldn't believe it at all. I will believe when your buyer can send me a formal letter of attention to Wilhelmina. It's very clear. It says, it's, LOI must be attention to Wilhelmina. But you guys are scared. You're scared to be circumvent. You don't need to be scared. You don't need to be scared. If the buyer wouldn't pay you, I would allocate. Okay, I would allocate your, your fee. But let me handle it. Let me handle it. And create a group chat. I will interview your buyer. But I wouldn't deal four or five brokers. Too messy. Too very messy. Hmm. Very, very messy. And I don't have time to educate you guys. If you want this business, you read. Okay? So if, you can, if you've been dealing with five brokers, I don't have time for you to educate. Read.
Read, read, read. Because everything is online. All right? I have to leave you because I have someone buzzing me and wanting to talk to me. I I might come back. I might come back. The time here is uh, 7.35 in the evening. Before I'm going to to have a break time, may I greet you, please, and good morning to you. In Africa, it's late morning. In Dubai, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. In Paris, morning. Whenever you are, good morning and good evening. In Asia, it is 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Here in Australia, we have a time difference. It's already 7.35 in the evening. I might come back because my online digital office closed until midnight. But if you cannot see me live, meaning to say I'm offline and busy interviewing the buyer, okay? So, so that I would help the buyer to get this supply. There is a saying, the golden rules. He who has the gold makes the rules. The government is making the rules, not me, not you. You have to follow the government rules means you have to follow the procedure of that particular seller where the gold coming from. Not me. I'm not making the rules. I'm just putting all the necessary requirement that you're going to need and necessary requirement that we need to find out whether you're a buyer or not. Isn't it? So thank you very much. I think I already explained it. And I will be back maybe 10 o'clock in the evening because I close every day, seven days a week, midnight. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant, good evening, and take good care of yourself.